I'm going to demonstrate quickly how I would go about starting searching a hole for both Chinook or Coho. So what I'm going to do when I approach the hole, I'm going to look for an area where my bobber can ride through the current. I'm also trying to think of where out in the hole the first fish might be laying and where the last fish might be laying. I'm going to try to target my drift to hit both those points. So I know, you know, a big lazy Chinook probably isn't going to be up here in the white water. But he's probably not going to be way down there in the slack water either. He's going to be somewhere in between. So when I make my cast, I'm going to pick a spot near the top, but I want to land it so that maybe my eggs settle in before where the first fish are landing. And my guess is the first fish are going to be laying right off those rocks over there. Somewhere between there and down here, maybe a hundred feet. Let's give it a cast. So now is the part where a little bit of discipline has to take over. I'm really just going to be watching my line and my bobber. My line dictates what my bobber does and ultimately what I have to do to keep my bobber riding vertical. So right now my bobber is starting to lean downhill, telling me I have a belly in the line. So I'll go ahead and mend. Set it down just like that. We're riding perfectly vertical. Beat out a little line. I always try to imagine it like a like a, a, a dog on a leash. You don't want to be too direct to it, but you don't want to give too much line out to where you'll have all this line piled up on the surface. A nice happy medium. That helps with mending, line control, and if you get a bite, if that float goes down, you don't want to have too much line out because then if you set the hook right away, it's gonna be nothing but slack. You'll probably miss the fish. So that was about a medium paced drift. We'll go a little closer in and we'll notice that it's a slower drift. Always keeping it, those few easy things in mind. Line control, trying to keep in mind where the fish might be laying. Now when using a Chinook setup like this, if I get bit, sometimes they'll start bouncing the bobber, sometimes it'll just shoot down. I personally have always found better success waiting just a moment. Float goes down, give it a full 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, make sure that fish has that bait. When you're ready to set the hook, always start reeling, reel down, drop the rod. Oftentimes I'll wait till I even that line tightens, starts to load up, I'll feel the fish start to head shake already, and then a good, hard, gradual hook set. Don't gotta be too shy with them. Wanna make sure that hook pierces that really hard mouth of theirs.